Well, everybody, the smoker is going good. Good morning. It's another cold winter morning. Winter's come back. And we actually have snow. And I hope you guys like burnt ends because we're going to do some burnt ends, but with a piece of uh, pork that I love. And uh, let's get inside and show you what we're going to do. So if you've been watching the channel at all, you know I love this piece. It's the Capicola piece or uh, the pork collar butt. I love this piece and uh, let's uh, make some burnt ends. And honestly, when you see these guys patting down your meat, you don't need to do that. Uh, any butcher doesn't do that. Just saying. So anyways, basically we're just gonna cut this into cubes and then um, spice it up with my rub and uh, get it in the smoker. Cube size, I'm gonna probably, uh, what is that? Probably inch and a half by inch and a half. So what we're gonna do, I you know the end's gonna get a little funny, but that's okay. And now, depends, ah, make them. So we got nice cube like this. These things are gonna be awesome. I'm gonna try and stand them up on in the smoker. If they fall down, so be it. Beautiful, you see all this intermuscular fat adds to the flavor. It's gonna make a nice juicy product. And spice-wise for now, we're just using my, uh, the rub I always use, the salt, pepper, garlic, and ancho. Uh, we're gonna worry about other spices later because there is one more step after we smoke them. And we're just gonna get them on all sides. Okay. Got these done and to the smoker we go. Okay, we're outside people and uh, let's get these on. So I'm gonna put them on the, the hotter side. Just space them out nicely here. We don't want them touching, just that the smoke goes all the way around. There we go. Now in. Just from experience, I'm gonna leave from everything else, I'm gonna leave these in two and a half to three hours. We're gonna come back and check them. And if there's enough smoke on them, to the next step. Welcome back outside. It's been three hours and let's take a look. They look great. I'm gonna take them off and meet you back inside. Here they are, beautiful, they look great. So we're only gonna do a few things, but we're gonna keep that flavor nice and high. You gotta put some butter in. One more. I'm gonna keep that theme of apples and pork. So I've got apple juice. We don't need a lot. There we go. Same thing, I'm, do, I'm using a, a barbecue sauce like an apple maple theme to keep it all consistent. Couple other things just to keep that flavor going. A little bit of bourbon, just a just a little bit. And 
and just to keep that acidity there to play off the sweet I got some uh, apple cider vinegar just a touch just a just a little bit there we go that's all we need I am just gonna mix it all together quick just to Smells so good. And now, take your trusty tin foil. And then wrap it tight because we want to keep all that moisture in there. Okay, there we go. We wrapped it nice and tight. We want to keep all that moisture in there to help cook everything and soften that meat down to nice and tender. So I'm just gonna go outside and throw these back in the smoker. Next time you see me, they're gonna be done. We're finally inside. I'm gonna dive in and uh, see how these guys look. Oh, oh they look good. Mm. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to dive in. I want to see how these should be fall apart tender. Oh, oh, <laughs> see that? See how, oh my God, oh. that's beautiful. And now let's dive in. Oh, wow. Mm. Great bark. Smoke ring looks good. Oh, that is good. Wow. Now, if I was having a party, I would have to do a lot more because this really wouldn't feed that many people. But there again, look, just, oh, so tender. That just falls apart. That's what you want. You get a little bit of the apple cider vinegar. You get a lot of the sweet playing off each other. A little bit of the bourbon. So good. I highly recommend it. You know what? You can do this with pork belly, uh, beef, but I love this piece and uh, it's very versatile and another win for it. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, just another great example of what you can do with this piece. It's fantastic. Uh, they look great, they taste great. And then there again, you can spice it any way you want. I just was keeping it with the pork theme and apple and, and it really works really well. So try this, You'd be, you'll be very happy. If you want it hotter, add some of your favorite hot sauce or whatever uh, to bring up that heat level if you want. But for me, this is really good. Thanks for watching, uh, see you soon, and happy eating.